Hi, my name is Guillaume Moutodier. I am an enterprise architect at AWS. Today, I want to show you how to create a Lambda layer to simplify the implementation of Web3 Lambda functions. In the following demo, I will create a Lambda layer from AWS Cloud Shell, then use it to connect to the Polygon POS sidechain. You should be able to execute those instructions on a free tier account. Let's get started. From the AWS console, we first make sure that we are connected to US East One, as some of the services we will be using are only available in this region. We then open Cloud Shell in a new tab. Clarchel comes with Python 3.9 already installed. We will stick to this version to generate a Lambda layer containing the Web3 library. We start by creating a virtual environment and installing the Web3 Python package inside it. We see that the Web3 Python package and all its dependencies have been installed inside the virtual environment. We can now copy those packages inside the Python folder and compress it. When used inside the Lambda layer, this zip file will be automatically decompressed and mounted inside the Lambda execution environment. This is how the Lambda function will be able to use the Web3 package. The final step is to create the layer. Now that the Web3 layer is created, we can create the Lambda function on top of it. From the Lambda console, we create a new function. We select Python 3.9 for the runtime and x86 for the architecture, as those parameters correspond to the environment where we created the layer. Now that the function is created, we can add the layer to its configuration. The last thing we need before we can start writing our Web3 function is a Web3 RPC endpoint. From the Amazon Managed Blockchain Console, we see that we can use a Polygon POS endpoint. Let's write it down. To access this endpoint, we will need a token that we will pass as a URL parameter. Let's generate a new token accessor for the Polygon network. Now that the token accessor is created, we can write down the corresponding token. We have now all we need to create the RPC endpoint. Let's switch back to the Lambda function and record the endpoint as an environment variable. For the name of the variable, we will use RPC endpoint, and for its value, the polygon endpoint with the token as a billing token URL parameter. We can now write some web free code to test our setup. This code uses the Web3 library to connect to the endpoint and to get the latest block number. It should not be used in a production environment, but illustrates the fact that we can use the Web3 library thanks to our Web3 layer. Let's deploy and test our code. We see that the execution successfully returned the last block number. We can now check that this corresponds to the latest block number on Polygon Scan. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will experiment on your own with Web3 Lambda functions. Thanks for watching.